good morning so this morning you find me in South Wales there really is no better way to lift your spirits and get your creative juices flowing than heading off down to the seaside got here bright and early this morning on the off chance that there might be a sunrise but bleh, there isn't but bear in mind it's early in the year it's uh, you know it's 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 not too much of a letdown to be honest it's just nice to be out in the fresh air not many people around there's a fisherman at the end there by the by the lighthouse but other than that it's quiet apart from the crashing of the waves so I came to Porth Core with the view of getting the lighthouse uh, I guess at the end of the pier and then with the sunrise in the background the sun rises in that direction um, but obviously that's not gonna happen and the other reason was I've seen some great photographs of Porth Call Lighthouse with waves crashing against the side of it. Um, again, this is high tide, or it'll be high tide in about an hour, and that's not really happening either. So I'm going to have a wander around by the sea and see if we can get some some pictures with the coast leading around to the lighthouse at the end. You don't really want too much of the sky, although it is quite moody and dramatic. So I mean, black and white, that would look cracking actually. But the rest of it is kind of just dull and grey and um, empty space. So just to explain the composition I've got here, so I've got the, the wall arching round leading to the lighthouse at the end. There's a fisherman now, he keeps popping up. Every time he pops up I take a photograph. So I've got the this wall leading round from the left hand side, I've got some rocks leading in from the right hand side, so all pointing you out towards the fisherman and the lighthouse right at the end. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I've taken two shots, so one as a quick snapshot just to get the guy in focus, and then another one set it apart. Uh, with the six dot filter on at eight seconds of that just to smooth the water out so just wait till a big wave comes in hit that shutter release button and then wait for the tide to recede out it just makes that nice smoothy silky pattern So the beauty of having a drone in a location like this is you can stick it in the air and you can find compositions that you wouldn't normally see from the ground. So if just flying straight up from the pier, you obviously get the leading line of it going out towards the lighthouse. And also if you fly it off over the sea you get more of the crashing waves and the rock and then the lighthouse and the pier leading around as well so it just adds that extra extra weapon to your arse if you like just gives you those shots that other people haven't taken so we've seen many many shots of the waves crashing up against Porth Coral Lighthouse uh, winning lots and lots of competitions but how many have you seen with a drone 100 yards out to sea so that's the idea just trying to take something different
Speaking now and know what the future bring. All the highs and lows. Said I'm gonna win, though the world might spin. Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one. It rains down on me. All the phone calls I'm ignoring. See, I'm a mess just trying to guess my way through this. Just don't get enough of me. I think I've taken some half decent shots here. Got some really good footage as well from the drone and from the GoPro. So the ray was crashing in and that's exactly what I came for. Well, not exactly because I came for a sunrise just behind the um, just behind the lighthouse, but we didn't see that. But you gotta make the best of it wherever you are really. And the best of it today was to get that grey moody sky and then the, the waves crashing in with the lighthouse just you know just on the top third really. So now I'm gonna head further east, go to Ogmore by the sea and a place where I've seen some really really half decent shots to be honest in southern Darn. I've never been there before so I'm gonna head in that direction. One of the great things about being outside, well, being near the beach, is you never know what's going to happen. I just turned up here, this is uh, Ogmore Beach, and there are a load of surfers, paddle boarders, just in the waves. And all of a sudden your landscape photography becomes sports photography and landscape photography. And then you've got the waves coming in, so there's some quite powerful waves at the moment, because I think it's, it's just past high tide. And the waves are crashing off the rocks, making all sorts of wonderful patterns. So you can get pebbles, rocks, waves crashing onto them. So it's not quite abstract, but it's just really close up landscape photography. Worry way too much, got a policy. Did it bring me luck? Just the honesty. Now it's all on me if I'm gonna win. Oh, I'm just gonna get up. And I've really got to say, what a difference having this sun art makes. You get some of these shots with the waves crashing in, and you'll, catch, you'll get the sunlight catching the top, catching the crest of the wave. Absolutely glorious. Anyway, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to take some photographs of this beach. What an amazing place. I could have stayed there for hours, to be honest. The sun is shining, the waves are crashing. There's just photographs to take all over the place. The only reason I'm going now is I only put a quid on the car park, so I've got to go.
So this is Southern Down, Dunraven Bay, I think it is actually. It's, a, it's another glorious, stunning place. It's unbelievable, it's got like big chunks of rock with like cheese holes in the top. Just seem to have been broken off and dropped. Almost looks man-made, but if you look at the structure in the cliff, it's got loads of different strata in it. So I guess the rocks have broken out from over there. Absolutely stunning. And again, the weather's absolutely glorious. It's difficult to know where to point the camera. I've taken some pictures of the sort of cheesy holy rocks leading off to the cliff in the background but the problem is with that is the cliff is dominant on the right hand side there isn't very much to balance it out on the left hand side so you have to get as low as possible so it's not so much of a feature What I am thinking is if I get a drone in there, I'm, I'm far enough away from all the people now in the car park, get a drone in there, shoot backwards, get those holy rocks in the foreground and get this massive cliff face as a backdrop with the waves as well. That should be quite an interesting photograph. This is one of those stunning, extraordinary locations where sometimes you're a little bit too worried about getting the video footage to show you guys at home what it's like to be here and not concentrating on the photography. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one final shot and you saw there that there's, there's a reflection of the cliff face in a rock pool there with all these interesting rocks in the background and in the foreground as well. So I'm going to take that and I'll put that up in a second. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a short trip to the southern coast of Wales. Absolutely stunning. So I visited Porthcawl for the lighthouse. So we visited Porthcawl for the lighthouse. Then we went to Ogmore by the sea where the surfers were. And now we just come a little bit further east to this place which is Southern Down absolutely glorious anyway hope you enjoyed that if you did remember to give me a comment or a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe see you later